Podcast. Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries. Cat5.tv slash eco. Robbie, just a quick question and some background in Hi. relation to the desktop Zoom, which you covered last episode. Hmm. Mom is vision impaired and requires Zoom on her computer. She currently uses her Mac, which has excellent Zoom. Okay. But whenever she uses another computer in the house, she finds it impossible to get close enough to see. Uh-huh. So, with the desktop zoom that you covered, is there a way to get the zoom to only move around the desktop when the mouse hits the edges and not follow the mouse, as it can be rather hard mm. to keep track of a spreadsheet if everything keeps moving when you go to select a new cell? Right, I hear you. Yeah. Is that the end of the email? Other than... Before I actually start answering? Thanks, Robbie. Love the show. All right, cheers. Don't leave that part out. That's the best. <laughs> that's the meat of the question. You are brilliant, Robbie. Thank you, Pyrus Rock This World. <laughs> all right, so yes, um, let's take a look. Here I am in Ubuntu with uh, Unity and all that. And last week on episode number uh, 286, I showed you how to activate enhanced desktop zoom on Ubuntu 12.10. So tonight, for you, for you and for your mom, Pyrus Rock, uh, we're going to show you how to do this. So... Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go right back into what we were doing last week during that feature. We're going to go into Compiz Config Settings Manager, okay? And we're going to take things a little bit further. And, and folks, I'm going to show you what Pyrus Rock is talking about. If I zoom in here, it's fantastic for accessibility, but now if I move, move the mouse, it's actually moving around on the screen, which to me is pretty handy for, for this use case, the show, because when I move around the mouse, it actually follows it kind of like a camera. But for accessibility purposes, it can be a little bit annoying. So let's take this a little bit further and make this more of an accessibility feature for your mom and for anyone else out there who has you know, a, a vision issue that you know, it's easier to see something when it's larger on the screen. The fact is, is that today's computer monitors, they're high resolution, and so everything, you think, okay, well, I'll get a big screen because my eyesight is bad, but actually everything is now smaller because it's higher resolution. So how does that work? It's kind of backwards. So here's an opportunity for you to fix that by using the enhanced desktop zoom. So we're going to do a search in the filter field here for Zoom. And you'll see that plugin, which we previously activated on episode number 286. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you click and, uh, and actually watch that feature first so that you can get as far as we are so far. So watch this. I'm going to go up to Zoom Area Movement up at the top here. And within that, you see a, a drop down here called Fitting. And in Fitting, there's an option to Fit Zoomed Area to Window. So one thing that we're going to do is we're going to enable that. So click that and turn on Enable. And now we want to actually grab a key combination which is going to program this particular portion of the plugin to a particular key combination. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to hit, hit you know, I can make something up. I'm going to go Control-Shift-K because I know that that's not one that I currently have assigned to anything. So I'm going to hit OK. And now here's a little trick for you uncheck and en enable enhanced zoom desktop wait for about two seconds because it does that and then check it off again now what that's done is it's basically refreshed the settings of comp is and your enhanced desktop zoom now features fit zoomed area to window so I'm going to show you what that does here I'm going to bring up uh, a small window let's use something like the calculator there we go okay so there it is with the calculator active I'm now going to hit control shift K. And there we go. The calculator is now filling my entire screen. So on a 22 inch monitor, that is literally, you know, like 12, 15, 20 inches high, whatever it is. So now to zoom out, I'm going to use my Windows button and the down scroll wheel, which we programmed in during the last episode. So I can move this anywhere on the screen and I can hit Control Shift K and it automatically pans and zooms directly into that particular application. Now here's something that's going to annoy your mom, Pyrus Rock, because as you move your mouse, look what happens. Oh, well that didn't solve anything. I can push the numbers, but I have to move up here to see them. I can do that, but then I gotta move up here to see them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll out, I'm gonna move this aside just so that it's out of the way, and we're gonna go up to Mouse Behavior. We're going to change things a little bit. We're going to change our zoom mode from sync mouse, which is what's causing it to follow, to pan area. Once I've changed that, uncheck and enable enhance zoom desktop, recheck it, 
There we go. Now let's go back to our calculator. Control Shift K. There we are. Now I'm going to move my mouse. Watch what happens. Look at that. Now you see that as I touch the edge of the screen, I can in fact move the screen. I can nudge it. And I think that is much more what you're looking for for your Mumpyrus Rock. There you go. Now do you notice there that I have a big mouse and I have a small mouse cursor. One of them's real, one of them's not, because I'm zoomed in, so the little one that you're seeing is actually not going to do anything for me. It's actually just a little bit of an annoyance. So I'm going to scroll out again, and let's turn on Hide Original Mouse Pointer. Okay, now you see that I actually have that checked off, but I can see it, because, uh, let's see here. And that has to do with the way that we are actually capturing the video tonight. So for you, if you have that same kind of thing, which you do see on the screen there, but in fact, I don't see it on my screen. Rachel, you can confirm that on my screen there isn't a second mouse cursor, right? Mm -hmm. So for those of you watching at home, you can see that. But that is how you would uh, actually turn that off. And that's because it's actually scaling the mouse pointer. See that? Scale the mouse pointer. And so it actually makes it bigger as I zoom in. So check that out. Really nice and simple. Control Shift K is what I set it to. Pirates Rock This World. Make sure you let us know how that works and if that's uh, if that's done a good job for for your mom. All right. Thanks so much for the question. Category Five TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.